clutch trucker filmed before a live and fuzzy studio audience, Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. Hey, when I posted the uh, George Foreman 5 serving uh, unboxing and initial use video just the other day, uh, I did get some comments from a couple of people saying, well, what about the cleanup? And I had actually recorded me doing the cleanup part, and I just forgot to put it into the whole video when I was doing the editing. So we're going to dive into that right now. It's the uh, cleanup of the George Foreman 5 serving <laughs> grill. All right, here's the other thing I just love about the George Foreman grill, because even being in the truck where I have no sink, no running water, there, even after a, a mess like this with the burgers, which create the most grease, hot dogs or uh, grilled cheese, not so much. But you can see, grill gets pretty uh, greased up. It's easy to clean, even here in the truck. All I really need is some water and paper towels. All right, that was this morning I let these uh, burgers cook, and it's now um, late in the afternoon here. I'm parked in Perrysburg, Ohio. And all I gotta do to clean this up is throw some water on it with my sprayer. Got my little spray bottle right here. And then uh, take some paper towels and wipe it off. That's about it. All right, I already did the upper uh, heating element. That took about, oh, 30 seconds. With And you can see, uh, yeah, my paper towels are a little dirty and greasy, but that's all it took. Now we'll do the bottom. So I'll take my sprayer, spray some water on there, and we'll wipe her down. Okay, that literally took all of about two minutes of cleaning with a spray bottle and some paper towels. And now you can see my George Foreman uh, five serving grill is now clean and ready to go. And because I used uh, the uh, tin foil in the drip tray like I showed earlier I just pulled that out and threw that away so it was already clean and just some water and paper towels my George Foreman is clean I'm gonna put it away it'll be ready to go for the next time and somebody did mention in the comments uh, putting some Pam uh, you know non-stick cook spray on there before you cook the burgers uh, really does help the cleanup. Yeah, and of course, remember, no sink, no running water here in the truck. So uh, as, as far as my whole cooking videos too, I know a lot of people come and say, oh, well, you need to buy this stuff and have these fresh ingredients always ready to go. And yeah, that's great. If you can get to a grocery store every day or every other day, you have more refrigerator access than I have, and you have a sink and an area to prepare all this extra fresh food, that's great. I don't have that kind of space. And that was the whole point of my whole uh, trucker cooking videos, is these are things you can do in a truck without a bathroom, without a sink, without running water, uh, and stuff that you can actually cook up and have ready and waiting for you because at any given week, I don't know which foods I'm gonna be able to do. So I can't really go the fresh route, which kind of sucks, but that's why I did the whole cooking video. So there's my little uh, disclaimer on that one. So you saw how easy the uh, George Foreman did clean up. It's really pretty good as far as that goes. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe. Uh, please like and comment if you would like to. Ring the bell for notification. And uh, check out our coffee and Patreon if you'd like to help support the channel. Don't forget about Clutch Trucker at Instagram, Clutch Trucker at Twitter. I try to do quick little um, more often updates on there sometimes. I don't get to them. I haven't done one in a couple days, but it's there as well. And as always, sniff that magic YouTube fairy dust, Clutch and Rusty, out. Well, they're very nice tents. And of course, that price does include scenery and wildlife fun. <laughs>